Welcome to the Elevate Hair Show. I'm your host, Tatum Neal. We've got a great episode lined up for you today. Our good friend, Antoinette Fenders, will be joining us to give an inside look at her new collection for Aveda. We're going to be showcasing the latest trends in hair and makeup on a new segment of Double Tap and then Hair for Stories. It's exactly what you think, and we'll be showing that later on today. Let's get going. Double Tap, where we take the best content from Instagram, put it on a TV show, then we put it back on Instagram. We've got an interesting and, and different type of Double Tap this week because the Behind the Chair Awards just happened, and we thought, why not feature some of the amazing photos that we saw win this year? A lot of uh, millions of people, I feel like, entered, thousands of people for sure, um, and I don't know how they narrowed it down to as many as they did. Uh, but we're just going to go through some of these. Just disclaimer explaining, you have two broad categories. You have your, your big shots. These are people that have some brand money behind them, big budget production type of photo shoots. And then you have your hot shots, which are everyday hairdressers taking pictures of their clients uh, and, and submitting them. And I love this awards because it gives individuals who might not have that big brand budget to produce something beautiful and get some recognition. So let's get into it. First up in the hot shot for Creative Color is Jessica Power Paints. Beautiful, beautiful rainbow vibes. And appears to me that she's not wearing a wig in this one, which I always think is incredible. You know, obviously, hairdressers, we use wigs um, often, especially in photo shoots. But I always like to see someone with natural hair. I think that's just kind of, maybe it's just me, but I think it's somewhat rewarding. Um, we have Big Shot Texture Collection, Coach Christian Barron, just with some beautiful, beautiful editorial work here. And this is the North American winner, and our international winner is Rick Roberts Hair. I don't know, man. I just love it when there's sunglasses with haircuts. I don't know. I guess I'm a sunglass fiend. But I love the usage here. I think it's great. All the hair, of course, is beautiful. Let me go and give these double taps. What am I doing? I forgot the show I was on. Hot shot overall hair color goes to Hair Color Killer. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this color is amazing, but uh, this is for overall hot shot for haircut, Hair Color Killer, beautiful work. Again, double tap. Uh, coming up later, Miss Antoinette Beenders wins for her big shot hair collection with the Veda for hair color. Uh, if you didn't get to see this, uh, definitely recommend checking it out in real life. Beautiful, beautiful work. Uh, but, Hats off to Antoinette and the Veda team. Amazing. Big Shot Hair Color International, Smart Test 73. Beautiful color work. Love this mullet, obviously. Let's give them a double tap. Big Shot Avant Garde, Nick Stinson. This really reminds me of the AHA video, Take Me On, where the, where the, the girl goes inside the drawing. Oh, such a cool music video for me. This gives me all those vibes. That's off this Nick Stinson for the win there. Uh, international avant-garde Monique Van Ball. This like icy, drippy magic. So cool. Double tap that. Now this one we featured on Elevate Hair and uh, it blew up. It was one of our top posts of the year. And I gotta say, it's not just the uh, the hair color which is perfectly placed but the nails man the nails are great too and they match all over the place this is a great shot it's one of our top posts of the year and it won hot shot unconventional color joyful hair awesome big shot styling north america lindsey marie olsen love this asymmetric textured look beautiful model love this lines back and forth super dope uh, double tap uh, we've Featured this photo as well a while back. Pavel O'Kappen, uh, this is Big Shot styling as well. This like woven braid with the fringe, just so beautiful. This one took off and, and honestly black and whites don't always do well. This one performed, it performed at the Behind the Chair Awards. Uh, great job. Big Shot Editorial North America, AM hairstylist. Really cool. I love the disheveled texture, kind of like a disheveled bantu knot. Some edge styling, too. Double tap that. Big Shot Men's. 
CJ DeBarber, beautiful work. Love the black and white photo with the colored hair, the hair tattoo, big trend in hair. We featured this photo a while back, Lisa Farrell, Big Shot Editorial. Beads and hair, man, they just, they're not going away. This one was a great, great photo. Loved it, double tap that. This one came out a while back, Sanderson Caroline. This is Big Shot's Men International. Let's zoom in here. Dude, how do you get that line so perfect right down the center? Crazy. Great model, love the styling too. Double tap that. Hot shot intricate braids. I don't know if intricate is enough with this. It's just mesmerizing. Wow. Double tap that. Um, Sicily does my hair. Oh, going too fast here. Big shot hair color. She's always doing beautiful work. Love it, love it, love it. Double tap that. International big shot hair color. J hair stylist. We feature him a ton, and it's because he does great work. Look at that color. Just gorgeous. Double tap that. Hot Shot Platinum, Maggie M.H. Beautiful, beautiful Bob, too. Uh, speaking of Bobs, Hot Shot Bob Love. Jerry Lynn um, with a beautiful, beautiful color and just nice A-line shape. Next up, Big Shot Avant Garde International. D. Parker Atwood, crazy braids, color, wardrobe, everything about this, double tap. Hot shot color placement, sea green, one hair, I'm sorry, sea green hair. I love this sort of contrast, black and color, and the little styling twist there, super dope. This one really caught my eye. Ashley Gamble hair, um, Love these sort of spiky bantus, this crazy wig, but like this one, oh my goodness, wow. Wow, that is just incredible, incredible. Love it, like rever reverse mohawk. Good luck talking your clients into that, folks. Another beautiful, beautiful shape. Uh, Julia Dinudin, um, just beautiful shape on a boat. Would love to have been on that shoot out on the water. I think we all would. Hot Shot Fade, Muhammad Hamez. This guy does killer, killer, beautiful work. Love the platinum on that dark hair. It's incredible. Is that a double tap? We featured this by Re Rebecca Jacques hair. And I just love the, you know, the color, the makeup, the, you know, the styling, the little part, the points. It's really dope. Big Shot Texture International. Um, Big Shot Haircut Collection. Daniel Dean uh, Dinglis hair. We featured this one on Elevate Hair, and it blew up, of course. Sort of a wild, out there mullet. Super cool. These other two shots are beautiful, too. Let's go ahead and double tap that. And then we've got Big Shot Men's Collection, North America. The Kuza Barber with some nice shaved tattooing on the side of this, as well as some makeup to sort of extenuate the lines in the cut. Super dope. Double tap. Big Shot Haircut Collection, um, Chelsea Lane Salon Color Bar. This is some beautiful color, beautiful models. Love, just love everything about this. Obviously, Behind the Chair did too. Big Shot Men's Collection International. Uh, this is Serio Hair Studio. I like this one a lot too. Cool stuff. Love seeing all these shortcuts. That double tap. Head, uh, Hot Shot Editorial Makeup. Keitha, makeup artist, some beautiful, kind of, it's like, this actually kind of gives me the vibes from The weekend, that whole Super Bowl show, with gauze and stuff. Anyway, dope. Um, always into a micro fringe, micro bob. This is a happy Justin. He's a happy character today. T1, the Big Shot Haircut Awards for North America. And then we've got Big Shot Editorial, uh, Casey Carey Hair. Now, she won a bunch of of awards here, at least three that I saw. This was for the overall collection, so I figured we'd just go ahead and show this one. But look at that hair texture, amazing. I love that. Um, these two shots are also uh, gorgeous, well executed, well done, Casey. And last, uh, Big Shot Avant Garde North America, Anakin 66 Hair Pro, this is dope. I love these sort of spikes of hair color. Amazing, amazing. And that concludes this week's Double Tap. Again, we couldn't feature everyone on here um, in one show. 
my apologies. Look, you can see how many awards there were won. Um, again, hats off to Antoinette, who we uh, have on the show today for winning. And if you want to get featured on Double Tap or the Elevate Hair Show, just tag hashtag Elevate Hair or hashtag Elevate T TV, and we'll get you in. We have a great treat in store for you today. Senior Vice President of Global Artistry for Aveda, a good friend of mine, Antoinette Vanders. Welcome to the show. Antoinette, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, you've been quite the busy creative <laughs> lately, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to, to catch up. We haven't talked in so long, and just give us a little inside peep at what you've got going on. Hi, Tatum. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm so excited and really happy to be with all of you here online. Um, wow, what isn't going on? I mean, there's a lot of things happening at Aveda, as always, but uh, we're really focusing this year big time on artistry. So uh, I've been working a lot with the North American artistic team, as you well know, as you're part of that. Yes. And uh, as well as traveling quite a bit, working on some campaigns. Uh, and of course, I launched my latest collection, Extraordinarily Natural. So yeah, things are busy, things are good. That's great, I love hearing that. And you made it out of the winter in, in Minneapolis, which is good to hear. I know summer's quite lovely there. I'm looking forward to uh, maybe heading up there soon and catching some of that. Uh, but mm -hmm. let's talk about this collection because uh, you know a lot of people are used to what I would consider to be like very high, high fashion, high couture. And to me, this has a little bit more of a street feel to it, a little bit more current. Um, forgive me if I'm uh, speaking uh, incorrectly about it, but tell us a little bit about some of these images and let's get some of these images up so we can give our audience a little peek. This okay, is well, the favorite. collection, yeah, the collection is called, thanks, Satan, by the way, the collection is called Extraordinarily Natural. And really what I try to do with this collection is it, it's, it's really all about inclusivity. And it's really highlighting that, you know, who are the people of today and who are people that are really living their own truth? So I would say, yes, they're all beautiful people in my collection, but they're all individuals that speak their own truth and are happy to stand up for their own truth. So for instance, here we have Grace. Uh, I, I shot this collection in London, so a lot of them, um, you know, they all have London accents when you see them on Instagram or whatever. But, uh, you know, Grace is actually a singer, performer, and she used to have really long brown hair. Mm. And she said she felt very girly with that. So we took it off. We made her blonde, including the eyebrows, and we gave her really the personality that she felt she was on the inside, but now on the outside. And that's kind of the gist of the whole story. So we have Dextra, who's a transgender. We have, I mean, there's a whole variety of people in there, and they're all just as gorgeous as each other. So yes, it's great haircuts and great color, but to me, this collection was really about the people. I love it, and I think that really shines through. Let's go through some of these photos, and we can kind of talk about them as they come. Yeah. Oh, here's Dextra. So Dextra is wearing a shallot, shag mullet, right? The sh okay, let me uh, let me get this right because people key in on this show to hear new trends, and okay. I don't let's say that word again. What did you say? Shallot. Shallot. Okay, and that is it's a shag a, it's and a mullet. It's a mixture between a shag and a mullet. Yeah, there exactly. Um, and this was cut with a razor. And this is Dextra, who I'm incredibly proud of. Uh, on the day that we actually shot Dextra, she literally went from the men's board to the women's board in the select agency in London. So it was a very big, giant, significant moment wow. in her life. And I felt incredibly honored that she trusted me and my team to, you know, to, to go through that with her. Um, so Dextra is a rock star, big time. Uh, follow her at Dextra Mandrake on Instagram. She's done all the top shows, all the top couture shows. She really got this new look and um, yeah, I'm going to London next week, I'll be seeing her. So the other thing about this collection is um, everybody's wearing denim. And the reason why I put everyone in denim was because denim is truly the, all, the only all gender fashion out there, if you think about it. So, um, so the haircuts are transferable, um, transformational, and like I said, it's about the people. So that's great. Was great. Yeah, very I've got a bit of a technical question. You know, a lot of people who watch are, uh, are hairdressers. And you said mm -hmm. this was done with the razor. Why did yeah. you choose razor versus sheer on this particular cut? Well, because I wanted seamless layers. Uh, and when you have this kind of texture, if you were to do it with scissors, it becomes choppier looking. And I wanted to add femininity to her. 
So uh, hence the razor choice. Got it. So, so it's a more soft effect. It's perfect. Let's go yeah, to the next more, photo. You get more of an invisible layer effect as right. opposed to, you know, the layers really blend more within the hair because the texture is so different, you know, is different to a scissor. A scissor, you can do the same cutting technique or the same sectioning, but you're just going to get a much choppier effect because the, the tool and the ends of the hair are much blunter. It makes total sense. Hopefully our audience picked that up. This is George. He's a painter. He's wearing a painted denim jacket. Nice. And, and really the whole thing was, you know, I was in London um, and I don't know if, you know, it's all about the 90s right now. And that was really the era when I, you know, was brought up in the hair industry. So for me, it, it was like coming home in a weird kind of way. And I really wanted to do a nod back to the 90s. So for me, this nod back on George was Oasis, the band. For those of you who might know, they were incredibly popular um, in the UK, I think globally as well. And globally, yes, the, they were definitely kind of known top. Yeah. For really crazy, you know, kind of unstyled looking hair. And then from a color point of view, what we did is we, um, I said to Bruno Elorio Roth, who colored the hair, I said, I would like to do some cap highlights. Remember how we used to do cap highlights? Yes, yeah, those are 90s? trending now well, again. You might not remember, I, I do remember vaguely, but I know now because they're all over the internet. That's a huge thing right now, cap yeah, highlights. Yeah, it's, it always comes back, you see. Right. So I, we did this kind of very, um, we didn't do it with a cap, but we pretended it was a cap. And we did this very chunky kind of highlight at random effect. And it's quite interesting now if you look at some of the coloring trends, like the herringbone color where it's, it's kind of like taking cool and warm tones. And that's kind of what we did with this. So I think we were a tiny bit ahead on the game on this one. I love this, George. Yeah, because you shot this a minute ago. And I love, you're, you're mm -hmm. always on the forefront of trend. And so you kind of picked this up early. I love that. Um, do we have another photo for, for us to share? Uh, Here's no? Grace again. Again, as you can see, Grace went from long, dark brown hair to short and blonde. Uh, and funny enough, I used to have my hair like that in the 90s. So for me, it was a very easy choice. And she loved it. I mean. Even today, you know, she still DMs me on a weekly basis how much she loves her hair. Oh, that's great. That's what I love about our industry is we really get to touch people and, and we sort of stay with them for, for a long time, and especially when you change someone's look. Speaking of her look, did you, did you choose the glasses? Was that their choice in glasses? How did you decide? No, the glasses were our choice. Uh -huh. um, because we just wanted to add a little bit of extra, you know, when you have mm -hmm. a very short haircut, um, glasses are a really great accessory to add some, you know, some fashion to the face, especially when you're going close up. So that's where that came from. This is Miriam. Wow. Miriam is very interesting as well because she has more like a kind of a 2C3A texture. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. we, um, we first of all, we Bruno did a gazillion amount of highlights and lowlights through here just to really enhance her natural texture. And I really kind of squared the haircut out here. Um, and then I used a bit of... Um, uh, you know, so I, I really tried to shrink her haircut. So we pin set the hair and we diffuse dried it. So the interesting thing about Miriam, she is actually South African, uh, lives in Ireland and joined a punk band. <laughs> and that's how she defined herself. So she didn't want to be the cutesy girly girl. She really wanted to be a little bit more rock and roll. So we squared her haircut out and yeah, used some, um, you know, some amazing vegan hair color on it from Aveda, and here's the result. That's great. Did you cast knowing that she was in a punk band, or is no, that just a, no, a, a, a but what coincidence? I, I, I didn't know that up front. Um, when I casted it, I did ask you know all of them about their um, their background and where they were from, and that to me was just as important as their hair. Great. So this is Fiona, and I, I think Fiona is super cool. But what's interesting about Fiona, she we, we gave her an octopus haircut. An octopus haircut. Yeah, an octopus okay, haircut. Okay, we got to put that in the YouTube notes. That's another uh, the trend. Octopus haircut. Go on. Yeah. And I actually created a video on it as well. If you want it, I can hand it out to you. Uh, the octopus haircut's interesting because Fiona had very heavy one length hair. And uh, she said her whole life she didn't know what to do with it. So I, kind, I, gave, I gave her an octopus haircut, not knowing it was going to be such a trend. And it, it looked fantastic. And we literally, we did it naturally curly and then we blow dried it straight as well. And the result is what you see here. It's um, get this really lovely kind of casual looking texture, but within a cool shape. And I think curly or textured hair, you don't often see really cool shapes. A lot of it is triangular or round, but there's not a lot of that in between. There's a lot of curly hair and textured hair out there that looks very similar. 
I don't know if you found that yourself. Yeah, so I, I tried so. to make a bit of a difference here by keeping the top flat uh, because we, she didn't want high hair or big hair right. and, and really worked with the shape on the sides. And she was delighted. I think it's great. I love it. This is like a pretty strong bob here, which I always love your bobs. They're, they're well executed, but they, they hit the mark, if you will. They, they always sort of suit the individual just right. Talk to us about how, you know, what did you have to push them into this, this cut, or was this something you got that they wanted? No, not so much, because her hair, when I originally met her, wasn't that much longer. Uh -huh. uh, it was more like shoulder length. Uh, and I, I saw Katie, and um, apart from being an incredible, beautiful woman, she's also vegan, and she wanted um, something a bit different, but not too different. And I said, come on, let's really bring the beauty of your face out here with accent, you know, accenting it on the jawline. And I don't know if you can see, but her forehead is quite short, uh, and her eyes are huge. Yeah, she's so I really try to open, keep it one length of hair, blunt cut it with a pair of clippers, and then what I did, we because her hair was lighter, we double glossed her hair with full spectrum semi-permanent hair color. And um, the reason why we do that is so I get this extra kind of super shine on the hair. And this is a technique I use a lot for our campaign. So we put one gloss on, uh, leave it on for 20 minutes, then we um, rinse it out and then dry it and put another one on top of it. So you get this double whammy of, of glossing and shine and... Uh, I think it works really well on that type of hairstyle. I think so too. And, and then for our hair nerds, just so I'm clear, you put the gloss on and then you rinse dry and then apply dry. Is that correct? Yeah, apply dry, absolutely. Let that hair soak it right up. Um, and the trick here was to really have a blunt cut. You know, if you're going to go with a bob and you want to make a, a statement, then get that bob as blunt as possible. And then what I did through the ends, I kind of sliced through the hair a little bit because completely one length makes the hair kind of sit very flat so from mid length to end i kind of sliced through it and um, that really kind of broke up the hair texture so you had that bluntness and then a little bit of texture in between and but her hair yeah. was also quite fine so i didn't want to slice too much no and and that's like a, a current trend right now is the sliced bob too so we'll have to add that right. into the notes uh, kind of hitting on all the trends i, I do think that again like placement is it's just really, it's really important. And so how do you, how do you decide where a bob should go? Uh, how did you make that decision on, on her? Okay. Well, basically I saw that beautiful long neck and I went, I want to show every bit of that neck off. And then, so I decided to go straight on the jawline. Well, it's, it's phenomenal. And then, so for our audience, again, the name of this collection and, and where, the, where, they'll be, where they'll be seeing it. It's called Extraordinarily Natural. And um, you can see it, uh, you're going to be seeing a little bit of that Adivator artist on the last day of, of the month, as well as you can see it on my Instagram, at Antoinette Beenders. Perfect. Yeah, go check it out if you want to get a closer look at it. I love it. So I've got a list of questions. Now, we're going to try to do these questions for everyone. Uh, and okay. it's, uh, <clears throat> we're going to just kind of go through them rapid fire. So I hope you're ready. Are you ready? Yeah, do it. Okay. <laughs> what is your current favorite product or obsession? I have to be honest, Aveda's new, brand spanking new, perfect blow dry, smooth infusion, perfect blow dry. I love it. Uh, not only because I helped create it, but uh, it's the perfect uh, combination between smooth and grit. And I love it. And it gives me this lovely, fluffy volume. Love it. Perfect. What are you currently listening to right now, music wise? Music wise, you know what? I like listening to all sorts of music. I'm not a music buff, my husband is. So I just listen to whatever he puts in my ears, and I'm very fortunate because he's got great music taste, and he also does all the music for my show. So I'm very well taken care of on the music front, I have to say. <laughs> you essentially have a, a live-in DJ, I would say. Um, are you watching or reading anything right now? I know Stranger Things just dropped. There's a bunch of uh, uh, excitement about that. What's uh, on your tube right now? Well, you know what? I've decided not to look on the tube. I actually decide to look at the lake. <laughs> because I live in Minnesota where we only have three months of the year summer and it is so ridiculously gorgeous right now here that um, when I during the day I work obviously at night I just want to sit outside and look at the lake there's nothing better than nature and realness and authenticity so I don't need to look at a tube right now I'll do that in the winter 
That's fair. You've you got a, a narrow window there. You do need to pay attention there. Uh, what is your favorite hair decade? Oh, without a doubt, the 1990s. Without a doubt. And is that because that's when you came up, or is there something aesthetically? No, I just think um, the 90s was very creative. You know, uh, we had grunge. We had heroin chic. We, I mean, we had so many different things. And then the 2000s, it became all very glamorous. You know, we went straighter, longer. Uh, and I don't know. I just think the 90s in London, I always, I keep saying I was incredibly blessed to be there because it was probably one of the most creative times when it comes to fashion and hair. You know, like the 60s was in London as well. So the 90s for me, I love it. Not saying I didn't like the other decades, of course, but that's where really, you know, I'm so happy right now. It's back in fashion again. Yes. And it keeps being referred to. It keeps being referred to. And the beauty of being in the industry a little bit longer, like me, is that you remember how it started, you know? You remember that you were at the inception of it. So very exciting. That's great. I, and the 90s are a great time in fashion and hair and, and all things. And I think they're just going to keep coming I mean, back. Also music days. I mean, come on, Nirvana music. and House. Yeah, yeah Electronic, Daft Punk, all that. Ministry of Sound. Yeah. You know, like all those kind of things. It was insane. It was insane. It was a great generation. Um, okay, so these are rapid fire, and unfortunately, they're binary, yes or no, okay, type of things. Okay, so okay. here we go. Pizza. New York City, New York City um, slice or Chicago deep dish? New York slice, for okay. sure. That's fair. Um, coffee or tea? Coffee. A Brit? Uh, okay, that's right. You're Dutch. I'm sorry. Right. I, I got confused for a second. Um, this one's controversial. Nike or Adidas? Adidas. Adidas. It's not Adidas. It's Adidas. Adidas. Sorry. That, <laughs> my American's coming out of me. Um, early riser or night owl? Early riser. Okay. 5 uh, a.m. go. Wow. That is early. Uh, dogs or cats? Without a shadow of a doubt, dogs. Okay. I've got two of them. Yep. I'm a dog person myself. Uh, this one might be difficult for you to answer, but again, it's got to be either or. Pixie or Bob? It's got to be a pixie. Wow. I I've thought for sure Bob. Okay. You've always had a pixie. Yeah. Pixie. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, that was our first like rapid fire <laughs> questionnaire. Uh, thank you for participating in it. And thank you uh, for being here with us today. It was a pleasure. As always, Antoinette Binders from Aveda, thank you so much for your time. I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you so much, Tatum, and thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you. I had a time back in the early 2000s where a woman from Japan came into the very busy salon that I worked into in a very busy city, and she wanted a perm. The pictures that she showed me were definitely ironed curls. They were not permed curls. And I kept trying to tell her, these are ironed curls. They are not perm curls. And every time I say they're not perm curls, she just smiles like, perm, 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 perm. So after she just kept saying, smiling, perm, perm, I decided to go ahead and give it a try. And at this time, I was just starting to get comfortable with putting hair up and things of that manner. And so I thought to make it curls look like the perm that she showed or look of curls she showed, made me go through and braid these different, braid them and then put them around the perm curl. Perm rod. So I did that, I got done, and oh my gosh. It was, the hair was just so like frazzled and not happy. I didn't even know what to do. She smiles and she says, perm. And I put her under a dryer because I was so uncomfortable with her hair. And yeah, she just continued to smile and said, perm. And it was the worst perm I have ever given. And I vowed to never give a perm again, and I have not since. Ever once given a perm since, and I will never give a perm again because of that experience. Do not perm when you shouldn't. I know perms are cool, but don't do it. Don't do it. That's a wrap for us today at the Elevate Hair Show. I want to say thank you so much to Antoinette Binders for coming on and giving us a little preview of her collection for Aveda. I want to say thanks to all the people who used hashtag Elevate Hair and got featured in Double Tap. Can't wait to see you again on Instagram. Have a good night, y'all. Peace.